Hello, my name is Ida Lewis, and I'm one of the breastfeeding coordinators for the State of Delaware WIC program. Today, we're at Dover Downs Hotel and Casino to celebrate World Breastfeeding Week. Today, we have two keynote speakers, Elizabeth Brooks and Dr. Lori Nomson Rivers. We're proud to have with us today our breastfeeding community partners, clergy, public health, and Delawareans at large. Thank you for joining us. Hello, I'm Lori Nomson Rivers, uh, research faculty at Cincinnati Children's Hospital. The barriers mothers face in successfully establishing breastfeeding, I like to talk about it like an airplane. And so, for some moms, the runway is really short and then they're just soaring. And for other moms, it's a longer runway before they take off and everything's going well and they're soaring in the air. The importance of everyone here who's at this conference, whether they're a lactation consultant, a dietitian, a peer counselor, uh, a nurse, and what they can do to help our moms so they can all get up there soaring high with breastfeeding. I've done some research this year on the um, benefits of exercise when you're breastfeeding. It's a good thing to do, so hopefully we can spread the word to all of our participants today, do a little exercise and have fun. My name is Mary Ann McGee. I teach jazzercise. I am back here for the third year in a row at the annual breastfeeding celebration. So Medela is the leading manufacturer of very high quality breast palms, breastfeeding accessories, intimate apparel, and many other things. We're here today to partner and celebrate World Breastfeeding Month with the Delaware WIC program. Um, many of the items that Medela manufactures help mothers continue to provide breast milk even if they're separated from their baby. Um, one of the things that is on my exhibit table today is information about the Affordable Care Act, which was enacted into law last August 2012, which will allow women to obtain a breast pump at no charge under most situations. And the website for more information for that is www.breastfeedinginsurance.com. Welcome to the New Faces of WIC. And I'd like to introduce you to... Hi, my name is Dan Munford, and I'm a nutritionist. Hi, my name is George Lopez and I'm an SST. And my name is Tyrone Shields and I'm an SST. And my name is Terrence Wilson, I'm also an SST. And I'd like to just welcome everybody here for the 2013 Delaware WIC World Breast Feeding Celebration. And Text for Baby is a free text messaging system for women who are pregnant through the first year of the baby's life. And it sends all kinds of health information and information about caring for the baby right to the cell phone. And this is a great way of reaching low-income women who often have access to cell phones but don't have access to the internet. I'm Liz Brooks. I'm an international board certified lactation consultant. I'm in private practice. I work right outside the suburbs of Philadelphia. And I'm also the president of ILCA, the International Lactation Consultant Association. In a former life, I was a lawyer, and so I got the privilege of coming to speak today at the WIC conference here in Delaware about legal and ethical issues that confront people who are supporting mothers with breastfeeding, whether they're IBCLCs, WIC peer counselors, nurses, doctors, or other health care providers, or anybody who's in the circle of care for a mother trying to make her life as a breastfeeding mom easy and capable to do. We have a lot of speakers that came in for the World Breastfeeding event. It's an event that is well known and always welcomed in the state of Delaware. We wish everyone could attend, but now uh, we see that everyone cannot. But what you can do is go to your local WIC office and see all what we have to offer. 